get any of that hand gel? That bloke just sneezed into his paw and then opened the door with it. No. Oh, so it's just a big free for all for James then, yeah. Could you uh, wave or something when it's my go? Cheers. Your go is gone, Miss McIntyre. You're winding me up. <laughs> You're five minutes late. Could you be a bit more anal? Doctors are very busy people. While you were buying your coffee, I had to let someone else in. You had to? You missed your slot. So give me a new one. Please. By all means. Monday. Three o'clock, OK? I'll have gangrene in it by then. 2.30, any better? Today. Monday. Enjoying yourself, you power-crazed midget. Not peeing on Monday, then. Huh. I've got a great big appointment book, industrial shoulder pads and a swivel chair. Oh, you've so made it. Yeah, do you want to do us a favour just call the Burns unit? We should look where you're going. Listen, a simple sorry would go a long way. Yeah, well, Mum says apologise makes you look weak. So I don't anymore. Not even to her. And it drives her insane. Um, well, if you don't pull through, who shall say croaked it? Uh, Dave. Tina. I know. I'm not buying your new shirt. Nah, don't worry about it. It looks better now than what it did ten minutes ago. Well, yeah, you said it. And it was for the charity bag as well. Not even the povs are that desperate. <laughs> well, uh, minute you're around. Okay. So was you like born angry? Or do you have some sort of personality disorder? FYI, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm like the elephant man. It's hot, swollen, and it's driving me crazy. Yeah, it's um, tennis elbow, that. Ah, Nick had it, he's my brother. Did he play tennis? No. Me neither. I've got a very painful complaint with a very stupid name and some midget receptionist from a so-called health centre. Shoulder pads out here. Oh! Won't let me see the doc because I was 0 0.1 zillionth of nanosecond late for my appointment. Gail. The doctor won't see you now. Power goes to people's heads. I wouldn't know, though, cos I've never had any. I need a sick note for work. Where's work? Pound shop. We've got some lovely new lines in. Three plastic buckets grab ya. How much? A pound. Don't just throw this one over you and all. <laughs> Listen, I work in the salon with my grand, so I mean, life doesn't get any more embarrassing than that. Is she training you up? Too right. I mean, I've graduated from washing the manky towels to sweeping the manky floor. <gasps> wow. Seriously, though, I mean, if I really knuckle down, ten years' time, who knows? I could be sterilising the combs. Respect. Well, if I ain't died from tennis elbow, I could be flogging my millionth China budget. Yeah, will it still be a pound, though? I mean, if inflation kicks in. Oh. It'll always be a pound shop, trust me. I'm an underachiever. Four, nine, four. Right, got that. Um, and if my nan answers, shout, because she won't put her ear in it. I don't do waving. Oh, devastating. So uh, I'll probably, like, maybe give you a call tomorrow and we can, like, do something. Yeah, definitely. All right. Oh, and uh, thanks again for throwing a bottle of drink all over me. Don't move on.